Welcome or welcome back to the new help at C squared. In this example, we have a circle that is given in this format, in this equation. We need to graph the circle uh, and we need to find if these points are on the circle. So the equation is x squared plus y squared equals 36. And now here down you have this equation of the circle, which is giving us the center and the radius. So I'm going to write that equation x minus h square plus y minus k square and equals r square. So basically now we're going to match these two equation and we notice we have just x square which means h in our case will be zero right because x square is x minus zero square. Uh, the same about the k. So k will be zero so the center will be 0 and 0. And also we need to find the radius for that reason. We're going to match the right side of the equation. And we're going to get an equation. R squared equals 36. For finding R, we're going to take square root. And just keep the positive value in this case. And radius equals 6. So now we know we have a circle center at 0 and 0 and the radius is 6 so if you want to graph that on x and y axis this is the center and then 1 2 3 4 5 6 and I'm gonna do the same on every direction 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And now I have the circle. Of course, uh, my circle is not perfect. It's drawn by hand, obviously. And I don't have graph paper. You're going to see an accurate circle in a moment. Um, so this is the circle that has the center, the center at 0 and 0 and a radius of 6. But now let's go to the second part. And we are asked to see if the if these points any of these points is on the circle. I'm going to start with zero and negative six. And in fact, you can notice that point is right here. So we can say yes, but the way you do it is this is x and this is y, and you plug it in. So you're going to have zero square. You're going to plug it in this equation: uh, x square plus y square equals 36. So we're going to have 0 square plus negative 6 square. And is that equals 36? We can put a question mark here. And the answer is yes, because we have 0 plus 36. And that is 36. So in this moment, we know this point is on the uh, circle. And we have an algebraic way for seeing this. Uh, but let's go to the second point, this one, the same story. We have the point negative 2 and 4 square root of 2. We're going to see if this point is on the circle. This is x and this is y. So we're going to have negative 2 square uh, plus 4 square root of 2 square. And again, we're going to need to see if this is equal to 36. And this is going to be 4. And here, 4 square root of 2 square means 4 square root of 2 times 4 square root of 2, if you need to do this. And that will be 16 times 2, which is 32, right? 4 times 4 is 16, and square root of 2 times square root of 2 is 2. So we're going to have 4 plus 32, and again, that is equal to 36. And this is the justification for saying yes this point is on the this circle and we have one last point this point the negative four and negative three we need to find out if this point is on the unit circle on the on this circle i'm sorry so we have x square uh, plus y square equals 36 
and the point is negative uh, 4 and negative 3 and as I said before this is x this is y so we're gonna have negative 4 square plus negative 3 square is that equal 36 and um, we not is negative 4 squared that is 16 now uh, negative 3 squared is 9 that is not equal of 36 because this is in fact 25 okay so this point is not on this circle um, you can take a look here to a, a graphical approach and you notice the same idea this is uh, 0 and negative 6, which I said you can see it if you have this graph accurate. Uh, this one, yeah, unfortunately, this is the only way to do it algebraically. And this is the point C that is not on the circle. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more help. Thank you.